Hello, hello, Oliver Lepke here. I'm so excited because I have a one document that I created that I wanted to share here with you and everybody else watching. So I uh, was making some research and as you guys probably know, if you know me at all, then you know that I'm a very health advocate for things, um, for a good healthy lifestyle, basically. And a lot of things that I do is I I make a research and I um, find out about things and then I share those things with people that I know. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. Uh, many of these things are related to, uh, to health and uh, health obviously, to gut and stomach issues. And uh, there's a lot of people who are talking and speaking about these health, uh, these gut issues, stomach issues. And they talk about specific foods that people should be taking to get relief, to get help. And um, a lot of gut issues are related to inflammation. So people are saying, hello everybody, um, uh, uh, what foods to take and what foods to that will, will help, like anti-inflammatory foods that will help with those gut issues and stomach issues. So, but I haven't found a, a lot of things that what people are not talking about is which foods not to eat. And uh, the more research I was making and doing some tests, the, most, the more impressed I was how important that is. So there's a specific list of foods that um, people should not be eating at all if they're having stomach issues. And there's six specific foods that they're not be uh, taking, not be eating. They should not be eating if they're having stomach issues. And I have created a document and not only listed those foods, but also explained why. So if you know anybody who is having stomach issues, if you know anybody who needs help with that, most likely they're taking these foods on a regular basis and they don't even know that this is hurting them, hurting them and it make, it's making their situation even worse. Even if they're taking some anti-inflammatory and uh, things that they think it's helping. Unless they remove these foods from their diet, they may not get better and better. So there's this free document uh, I just wanted to share. So all you have to do is click on this link below and then request a document and you will get this document completely free. I put it all together and explained it. So really just to help people to get benefit from it. So you take that list, avoid all these foods and um, if you do that for about four weeks, so 28 days or one month, it's going to make a big difference because uh, our cells regenerate in about 28 days to, to one month. And then uh, when they do that, without these foods, it makes a big difference. So that's all I wanted to share. I want All I wanted to do is quickly connect, share that. Here's the link below. Go grab it, enjoy it, and feel free to share it with others. All right. Other than that, have a great rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.